Hi everybody, it's me again, Lindsay from Equip Me OT, here today to talk about getting in and out of your vehicle. I have a couple of really easy, inexpensive tools that you can use on any type of car uh, to help you get in and out safely. So we're going to go over those real quick today. Um, I'm going to be getting in and out of a higher vehicle because they are quite popular. This is a minivan, sits at a similar height to like an SUV, a truck, um, some crossovers. But also these, equip these pieces of equipment will work for your lower vehicles, your sedans, um, and so they make a really nice product for most people who struggle with leg weakness or back issues that make getting up and out of a vehicle difficult. So let's go over them. Uh, this product I picked up on Amazon for $25. It's actually two pieces of equipment. This piece, which you've seen in probably several different iterations, this one's kind of neat. It comes with the extra added bonus of a flashlight. So if you're doing transfers at night, it can be useful. It also has the breaker piece, so if you need it to break a window or a seatbelt cutter, it has that on it. So it's a nice safety equipment. It's small, can be put into your glove box, can be carried with you through multiple vehicles, so that makes it a really nice little tool. And then I also have this additional piece, which is a strap that goes around your window. So we'll go ahead and install these pieces of equipment so you can see how they work, and then we'll go about showing you how the transfer would look. So piece of cake. Well, all we're going to do is take this end and slide it into your striker plate for your lock. So on this car and in most new vehicles, you're going to see a looped striker plate here. This piece slides in just like that. It's going to have a little wiggle to it, but the actual ability to press down through it is very, very good. It's very stable. So that's going to go there. This piece, if you choose to use it, can be installed around your window. So it can be installed anywhere along this, pleat, this part here. You simply take the strap, clip it into place. You can adjust the length of the strap. I have it adjusted to be roughly where I need it, but you can make it longer if you need to be able to reach from a farther distance. And then you're going to roll your window back up, which pinches it into place. So now I've got a place I can pull from and a place I can push up from to help me get positioned in and onto my seat or out and down onto the ground. So that makes them really, really useful. So let's go ahead and show you how that transfer would look. Okay, now let's go about getting into the car using this piece of equipment that I have installed down here on my lock striker plate. So what we're gonna do is use it as a push point as we get ourselves up onto these tall seats. Um, I'm five foot four, so I actually do have to boost myself a little bit to get onto this seat, especially if I do approach to the back like this, which we often recommend for folks who have difficulty with balance and we don't want them trying to step in one foot. So I've got my hand here as a stabilizing point. I can reach back for the seat now, get one foot up, and push myself into the car using the grab bar here. This is now I can push it away from me and really slide myself around and into the seat where I'm positioned comfortably. I can remove this now and off we go. So that's a great way to get into the car using this product. Next, we're gonna show you how to get out of the car. All right, so now that we're gonna go about getting out of the vehicle. So I would reinstall this against the striker plate so I have a point to grab down low. And now this is where this little handle loop comes in handy. It can be looped around the window. You close the window into place. Now I have a spot to pull myself as well as to stabilize and push myself. So if I pivot my way around here, I can pull on this, push on this, come to a standing position nice and easy. It's very stabilizing. It can really help if you have balance issues or if you have lower body or back problems. Um, these are really practical pieces of equipment. So if you got some value out of this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And as always, if you need more information on safety and independence equipment, please consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.